slope and y-intercept method, what they want you to do is to put it in slope-intercept form. So here's our equation. Make it bigger. So they want yeah, slope-intercept form is when you have y by itself and a bunch of other stuff on the other side. So the first thing we'll want to do is subtract 3x from both sides of the equal sign. We'll stick it over here that way because 24 and, minus, and the 3x can't combine. So we're closer. Y is almost by itself. Now just this 8 is standing in its way. 8 is multiplying to Y. So we can undo multiplication with division. We can do 8Y divide 8. That will make it cancel out and get us Y by itself. But if we divide one term by 8, everything has to be divided by 8. So we got to divide everything by 8 over here. 24 got divided by 8. And then negative 3 got divided by 8. So if you simplify, that got rid of the 8 like we wanted. 24 divided by 8 makes 3. And then we just got to keep this as a fraction. I like to type them in with parentheses like that. So the, the y-intercept is always the number that's not attached to the x. So this number is not attached to the x. So we're going to click on the 3. That's our first dot. Uh, and then we have a slope of negative 3 eighths. It's negative because the sign to the left is a negative. And the negative means you count down 3 into the right 8. So we go down 3. So here's my starting dot. We said it started at 3 on the y-intercept. So we count down 3. And to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Down 3 into the right 8. So you just count out the rest of the slope. 